In this video, we are going to install and configure Sway on Arch Linux. By the end of the video, you will have a usable desktop. I will assume that you already have a clean installation of Arch, either in VirtualBox or on physical hardware. If you haven't installed Arch Linux yet, I recommend using the most recent Arch installation guide in the DistroTube channel. In fact, the virtual machine we will use in this video was created using that guide. So now I will log into the virtual machine. First, we will sync the packages using the pacman syu command. Now we will install the Sway package and the Alacrity package. We accept all the defaults, pressing enter. So Sway is the window manager and Alacrity is the recommended terminal emulator for Sway. Great. So now we can simply run Sway with the Sway command. So now we are in the Sway desktop. You can open a terminal by pressing Windows and Enter. Now, if you're using physical hardware, your monitor resolution must have been detected automatically. But if you're using VirtualBox, the resolution of your virtual machine window is probably too small. We're gonna change that with the following command. So the command to increase the resolution is sway msg space dash dash space output space asterisk space resolution space dash dash custom space the resolution you want in my case is 1920 by 1080 so in my case it did nothing because i already had the resolution i needed but if your virtual box window was too small this command will fix that so to close this window we press windows shift q and we're back to the desktop so as you may know, Sway uses what's called a modifier key. By default, that key is bound to the Windows key, but we can change it to be the Alt key if we want. And to do that, we need to edit the Sway configuration file. So we open our terminal again using Windows and Enter. I will increase the font size. So we need to create the .config directory first. And inside that, we need to create a Sway directory. And now we need to copy the default configuration file from slash etsy sway config to the directory we just created. And now we can edit that file. I'm going to use Vim, but you can use any editor that you want. So this is the line that, that defines the modifier key. It says mod4 which uh, stands for the Windows key. I'm gonna change this line to be mod1. I'm gonna save the file, and to reload the configuration, we need to press mod, shift, and C. But remember that we haven't applied the configuration yet, so mod is still our Windows key. So we press Windows, shift, C. So I will reload the configuration file, and now our, our mod key is set to Alt. Now we can quit this window by pressing Alt, shift, Q. So now a couple of simple commands. Again, to open a terminal, we press mod enter. To close a window, we press mod shift Q. And to move to another workspace, we press mod and the number key. So mod two moves, uh, moves us to workspace number two and so on. Now let's run to run Firefox. I will open a terminal and you should install the Firefox package if you haven't installed it yet. Okay, but you can't just execute it uh, normally because it doesn't work on Wayland by default. You need to pass it an environment variable, which is called mouse underscore enable underscore Wayland, Wayland, and set it to one, and then pass it the Firefox command. So that works, but it's annoying having to pass that environment variable every time we want to execute Firefox. So I'll close this window and define it globally so that we only need to execute Firefox by itself. 
So we need to edit the file with sudo privileges in slash etsy slash environment. And we need to add a line that says mos underscore enable underscore wayland equals one. I'm gonna change that, save that file and quit. But to, for this change to take effect, we need to reboot our machine. So that's what I'm gonna do now, reboot. And we execute the soy command again. And we're back in our Sway desktop. So if you're using VirtualBox, your resolution probably uh, got reset to to the small to the small screen. And we are going to fix that permanently now. We're going to edit the file, uh, the Sway configuration file, sway, com, dot config slash Sway slash config. And at any place in the file, you can just add output space asterisk space resolution space space dash dash custom space and the resolution that you need in my case 1920 by 1080 i'm gonna save this file and reload the configuration using mod shift c great i can quit this this file now and now let's try to to run firefox which is what we wanted to do so now I can execute the Firefox command and without passing any variables, it will execute. We can move this Firefox window to its own workspace by pressing mod shift two. And now if we go to workspace two by pressing mod two, here's Firefox all by itself in its own, in its own window, but it's still uh, it will be better if we can execute it without opening a terminal in the first place. So we're going to install a launcher now. I'm going to close this window, go back to my terminal, and the launcher we're going to install is called Wofi. So we can simply install it from the Arch repositories. And it's pretty fast. So to enable this launcher, we need to edit again the sway configuration file in dot config slash sway slash config. And we scroll down to this line, set menu, the menu path. I'm gonna delete from here to the end of the line and replace this with wofi dash dash show space run. Save this file. Uh, in fact, we need, we can quit and now we reload reload the sway config file with mod shift c and now if we press mod d uh, the wofi launcher will appear and we can launch firefox directly without having a terminal so we can now move this to our workspace 2 go to workspace 2 this terminal can be closed completely and it won't matter because firefox is running by itself which is great so we can close this now and we are back in our desktop. Now we are going to increase the font size of Sway. So to do that, I will open a terminal and install a package called adobe-source-code-pro-fonts. And we are going to edit the Sway config file again. So anywhere you can just define the font, for example here, font, space, pango, colon, in our case, source, code, pro, medium, 12. Let's use that size. Save the file, and with mod shift C, reload the configuration, and now uh, there's a different font, it's bigger, which is more appropriate to our resolution. And also, we are going to change the alacrity font to be bigger by default, so we don't have to increase the, the size manually. So first, we need to create a directory inside .config. So make dir .config alacrity. <clears throat> and now we need to copy the default config file, similar to what we did with the sway config file. So the default config file is in slash usr, user share share doc alacrity alacrity 
alacrity.yml. No, it's actually an example, alacrity.yml. And we need to copy it to config slash alacrity. And now we can edit this file. We need to uncomment the line that says font. This one. And we need to uncomment the line that says that sets the size. And we're going to change the size to something a little bigger. 16, right quit. Now I'm going to reload. No, don't need to reload. In fact, I, I'm going to close the terminal, open it again. So it's a little bigger, but still kind of small. I'm going to change it again. Mm, let's set it to be 22. Let's see if that works. Yeah, that worked because now the font's bigger. Let's see if something bigger still works, like 32 or 48, something more extreme. Yeah, that worked. So we can be sure now that our config file is working. This is a little bit extreme, so let's set it to something more reasonable. Oops. Vim. Doing weird stuff. Maybe 30? Yeah, that's, that's appropriate. Now we're going to do something more fun. We're going to replace the default uh, bar, the top bar that Swain comes with, and we are going to install a more customizable bar so you can rise your desktop as you like. So we're going to install two packages. The first one is called Waybar, and the other is TTF dash, let me remember, font dash awesome. We install those packages. And after it installs, we need to tell Sway to use the Way bar as the top bar instead of the Sway bar, which is the default. So we go again into our Sway configuration file. And we scroll to the end of the file. So this is the Sway bar uh, customization, but we don't need this anymore. We delete all of this. All we need is to define sway bar underscore command way bar that's all so now we write this file and we update the config file with mod shift c and look at that it's a very colorful colorful bar we can customize it however we want i'm gonna quit this file which that's in fact what we're gonna do now we're going to customize this top bar so again, to customize Waybar, we need to create a directory inside .config Waybar. And we will copy the minimal configuration from the website. So let's open another workspace and launch Firefox. Waybar GitHub. Scroll down to this part, configuration and styling. And here, there is examples part, and there is the configuration. Let's go to configuration first, then I'll show you some examples. So it says a minimal example config. Let's copy this minimal config. And paste it into beam.config waybar config. So here we paste that minimal configuration. Right quit. And now let's reload Sway with mod shift C again. So this is actually pretty minimal. Uh, all the colors are gone. But what, what we can do now is we can copy other people's configurations. So for example, let's go to the examples part. Uh, here, examples. And for example, we can take this guy's configuration and use it. So let's go to his repo. So here are the config files. We will need to install git to clone this repo. <coughs> so the repo is https github.com config. 
we copy this and we're going to clone it git clone this address we cd into his config now there's a hidden directory here which is this one dot config so cd dot config and uh, we go into the uh, waybar directory waybar and here we need to just copy both of these files config and style.css into our waybar configuration folder so it's actually home slash dot config slash waybar so, and yeah that's all and now we can reload uh, sway mod shift c again and look at that we have copied uh, this guy's configuration which looks really cool in my opinion uh, you can customize waybar however you want and yeah or you can copy someone else's configuration just like we did it's a really customizable bar you can read the documentation here in the github page there are links to all the documentation and it's a, a really customizable bar so what I'm going to do now is something uh, that I like to do which is uh, mapping, remapping my keys I like to swap escape and and the caps lock key so that's what we, what we are going to do now it's really simple we open again the I'm gonna go to my home folder we open the sway configuration file again and Let's go to the part that talks about input, so that's a little bit organized, more organized. So here, let's add a line that says input uh, type colon keyboard xkb underscore options caps colon swap escape. So what this line does is it swaps uh, the escape key with the caps lock key. And the other thing I like to do is disabling mouse acceleration, which I do with uh, Axel underscore profile flat. So if you're in VirtualBox, this won't take effect because uh, VirtualBox uses your your guest configuration, your, rather your host configuration. But if you're on physical hardware, uh, this will be useful if you want to disable mouse acceleration. So we save the file, quit. And reload the configuration and great now we have swapped escape and caps lock key so now some final recommendations um, there's some some places where you can learn more about uh, sway configuration um, I'm going to show you the the sway entry on the arch wiki sway arch so this has a uh, useful information it's helpful there's also the obviously the sway sway, sway repo which has a, a small wiki so here in the wiki section there's a lot of useful information and there's also the man pages uh, you need to install the man pages to be open to be able to see them man and man db man dash tv so useful man pages are man sway man sway dash bar man sway msg man sway dash input and man sway dash output so that's those are the places where you you can learn more so the sway entry in the arch wiki and the um, and the sway wiki on github and the map pages so if you like the video uh, give it a thumbs up leave a comment below and subscribe if you want to to see other videos from this channel this new channel this is the first video so thanks for watching